to burning rubber garage. I've got a fun one for you. It's a little different than what I've done in the past. My goal off this video, since some of you tend to just click long enough, uh, you know, a couple minutes and then you're out, which is fine. I get it. You've got things to do. I want to hear a comment down below. And I want to see if you're for old school style rims like the uh, your Kragers, your Rally Wheels, the Rally 2s on the GTO, or if you're for the larger 18, 19, 20, 22 inch on old muscle cars. Uh, the reason I'm bringing you this video and the reason I wanted to talk about it was an individual in one of my groups, and I'm a member of a lot of groups, Chevelle, Camaro, Mustang, uh, GTO, C10s. I'm a member of a lot of those groups. This dude posted up some beautiful cars. He had one on a trailer being towed by a truck, also had big rims, and then two other cars out there, uh, all of which had at least 20s on them, if not bigger. And I looked at it and I was like, dang, what a photo. I tell you what, what a beautiful photo. This dude's got some nice stuff. I wish he was my neighbor. I could go hang out with him and uh, we could park our cars and probably take some sick pictures. But uh, probably go cruise too. But anyways, I digress on that. He got lit up. Lit up. Not by everybody, but there's a crowd. And I don't want to say it's the older generation specifically. It's more of a purist. They think that if you put big wheels and tires on a car, you will ruin the value of the car. Now granted, do they own that car? No, they don't. Uh, are they appreciating the beautiful paint job, the time into the motor, the trans, the rear end, the interior, all the details? No, they're flaming him based on one thing, a wheel choice. And I thought that was a bunch of crap. Um, the reason I also was following this really closely is on the GTO, I plan to purchase some wheels pretty soon. Um, and we'll talk about that. I'll go up and talk around that car for a few minutes when we get up there. But I am torn on what to do. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll insert that clip right. So this is what I was talking about. These tires are teeny. Well, the tires aren't bad. The wheels are teeny. They're a 15. They're a PMD Pontiac Motor Division Rally 2 wheel. They need a little bit of uh, shine, but that's fine. Um, I'm tempted up here. What we're running here is a 215. 6515. I'm tempted up here to go either 18 or 20 inch wheel. I've got a lot of room up there and some room out this way. Um, out backs where I'm really struggling to. Uh, these out here, again, just a 15, but they're a 235.75. Uh, again, Rally 2s, they look good, they look period correct, they need to be cleaned up a bit. But back here, I am tempted to go 18, 20, or 22. So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I'll get back to what I was talking about before. I just wanted to show you this. Uh, this car is something else, man. Look at that. And it's dusty, too. So uh, let me know what you think. We've got uh, either an 18 or 20 up front. If the front's a 20, we'll have either 20 or 22 back here. Uh, if the front's an 18, we may have just a 20 back here or an 18. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Because sometimes I do care, despite what I talk like. Sometimes I do need some help. And I'm stuck. I've been thinking about this uh, since I got the car. What do I want to put on it? But, uh, oh well. Let's get back to it. So those are the options I have with the GTO. Uh, a lot of cool options. 18, 20, 20, 20, 20, 22. I want to go bigger. I want them to fill out that, you know, this fender right here. I want them to fill it out. Uh, what I have noticed is 15s and 16s, yes, that's what came on them back in the day. They look good. I, you, I almost went with some just rally wheels for this, but I decided I don't want to do something a little different. A lot of people have their rally wheels. Um, 18 is almost too big. You start to get those people hating on you. This is what this has is 18s. Nova has 17s. Uh, people will hate on you for that size. You go with a 20, then they start to say you've got a clown car, looks stupid, uh, why don't you lift it, what a worthless pile, you wasted all your time and money, you have destroyed this car. People, it's a set of wheels and tires. Look beyond that. If you don't like it, don't say anything. 
I mean, I see a lot of people do that are like, cool man, it's your car, you do you. But they can't just leave it at that. They have to say, but I wouldn't have done that. So it's just, it's sad. I really thought in a Camaro specific group, a GTO, Nova, you know, I thought we would have seen something like, man, that's a nice paint job. Find something positive, man. The world's so filled with these morons who think their opinion is the only one that matters. And it really is frustrating to me to see that because this dude's cars were freaking sweet. I mean, if I bought the car, would I keep the wheels and tires on it? Me? Probably, I guess. I mean, were they my first choice? No. But the size, I thought it looked fine. You know, and I don't, I don't care. I'll buy a car with factory rims or with aftermarkets. Eventually, I will probably change them out to something I like, unless I really like them. But I wouldn't nail somebody down and hammer them based on that. I just, I thought that was ridiculous. And it reminds me of the C10s. That community is a little more open. And I don't know why. Maybe because they're trucks. They've got a bigger wheel well to fill. But I don't see people as often trash. Now, if you go over 22 to a 24, sometimes people start to hate them. But the 20 to 22 talk, those are right at home. I don't see people getting flamed on that. Uh, 24s, I've seen some hit and misses. Uh, and honestly, on the orange truck, that's my thoughts. I want to go 24s just because I've never had 24s. I've had 22s, but I've never had 24s. So uh, part of me wants to try some 24s. Will I do it? I don't know. I'd have to see how they look. But uh, back to the matter at hand, muscle cars, classic cars. Uh, these people were just trashing them. And there were some really not nice things said. The one guy said, you should sell all those and go to foreign cars so you can ruin those and leave the American cars. And that's stupid, too. Classic car is a classic car. I don't care if it's an old, uh, an old school uh, Mini Cooper, a Bug. If it's nice and someone I can tell is proud of it, I'm not going to hate on it. Am I going to love it and want its poster on my wall? No, I'm not. But that brings me back to this discussion. American cars. There's only one other debate that even comes close to this, and that's an original 350 versus an LS swap. Uh, people go crazy, like, your, your car isn't jack squat unless you have an LS. Well, with the Holly fuel injection, MSD, even the Phytex systems, I like better than the carburetor just for the cold starts, the ease of starting. A good running carbureted car is just fine, too. Don't get me wrong. I don't think you have to have fuel injection, but... I don't, I don't really think all my cars need an LS. Uh, I can get it if you were driving it a lot. The LSs are, I think, cheaper to come by. They're in everything uh, as far as getting one to replace. And, uh, you know, look at Summit Racing, and you can get you a 350 crate engine, uh, 327, 383. Feels like I'm going to spend more doing that. But you throw a 700 R4 behind one of these old carbureted or uh, updated fuel injection cars, and I don't see the issue. I don't see the issue, but that's another one. We'll talk about that in another video. My big thing is, leave a comment down below. Do you like the classic style, the new modern style? Uh, is 20s too big, 22s too big? Uh, on the GTL, I'm really tempted to go 22 out back, 20 out front. Uh, 20s front and back, you know, maybe 18, 20, like I showed you. I'm not sure what I want to do. Uh, I really just don't have a clue what I want to do wheels and tires wise. That's why they're not done. I've seen the wheels I want. I haven't seen them on a GTO. I'm sure they are out there. I just haven't searched hard enough. Uh, I've seen what I want and we're going to see if I can make it happen. But until I pick the size, nothing's going to happen with that car. I will leave those rally two wheels on it and be happy. So uh, if you can hit that thumbs up. I know this one will get some thumbs down because I trash on a couple things. Uh, I just don't like people that trash on other people's stuff. Uh, granted, you may have a nicer car than that person. That's awesome. Let them discover that for themselves. Pull up to the car show, park next to them. They'll be like, dang, your car is way nicer than mine. Then you have something to go off. But if you're just telling them, my car is nicer than yours because of this, this, and this, kind of a dick. So anyways, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for the support. We will see you on the next video.